Hi, I'm Jason from J2 Innovations, CEO. Uh, we're here today to talk about what's new with Fin 4.0. Really excited. We've launched a lot of products over the years, and never before have I been this excited about what's about to come. With Fin 4.0, we're coming out with uh, HTML5 technology that runs across all devices, phone, tablet, and desktop. We completely changed the engineering workflow 180 degrees. Now the product is context sensitive, so we know what you're going to do when you're about ready to do it. And we have wizards that help you make it easier, faster, and better than ever before. So now let's take Fin 4.0 for a test drive on a phone, tablet, and a desktop. With Fin 4.0, we took a mobile first strategy. What that means is instead of designing it for a desktop and later creating a mobile app, we actually built everything in HTML5 and designed it for a phone first that works on a tablet and a desktop. Let me show you. So you can see here that you have your navigation, your mini app, and your menu. And you're always, it's context sensitive. So I'm always somewhere and I always have a, a mini app that I'm in. So right now we're at City Center. Let's drill down to a floor and let's go uh, look at schedules. You'll notice that when I click on schedules now that it's context sensitive. It's gonna show you every schedule that's under floor number one. With the smart menu, we're gonna to go to another mini app right now. And right now it's context sensitive, so I'm at City Center VAV1. Let's go into the point graphics. So if I just scroll with my finger, click on the point graphics, these are the point graphics for the VAV box. It shows all the points that were automatically built based upon tags. You could look at the history of the point. Um, you could command a point. You could see if it's scheduled. So now let's launch the notes mini app. You'll notice that I'm in city center right now. If I go to the smart menu over here, I could go to the notes app. And in the notes app, it will show you all the notes for city center. You can acknowledge them. You can sign them to somebody else. When you assign it to somebody else, that user would get an email saying that uh, it's assigned to them. Now we're at city center air handler one, and we want to look at summaries. Notice in the smart menu over here, I could click on the summary mini app and the mini app will come up and it'll actually find all the summaries for that air handler. This particular summary is the VAV summary. As I click on it, what it does is it uses tags and it finds all the VAVs that are associated with that particular air handler. And I could navigate, I could look at all the VAV boxes. Uh, right now it's showing the damper, but let's look at a different point. Let's actually change it to the room temperature. So now we're looking at the room temperature and I can look at my history. Now let's go to the smart menu and find the Historian app. The Historian app, currently we're at VAV number three for City Center. Let's go to the Historian app. And what you'll notice here is these are all the favorite histories that a user's created. And let's create on the one right here and let's look at all the histories for this particular VAV. What this is showing is all the points um, and it lines it up on a chart. And I'm obviously I'm on my phone right now. And I'm gonna scroll up and it, it finds all the points, it finds all the Boolean points, it finds what the schedule's doing, and it shows all the alarms. Now let's go to the Smart Menu, and let's take a look at the Weather app. Notice again, I'm at City Center VAV3. When I click on the Weather app, what it does is it shows in this enterprise, I have five weather stations, but it actually tells me the weather station we're using right now is in Las Vegas, and it's clear sky with a temperature of 79 and a humidity of 16%. Now let's take a look at Fin 4.0 on a tablet. You'll notice here that you have a little more real estate so you could have a responsive design and show a little bit more graphics on here. What we're gonna do now, everything you're seeing in this demonstration is anybody could do. It, all of this automatically works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on City Center right here and we're gonna come out with what we call magic bubbles. We're just gonna drill down into City Center. And now that we're looking at the building here, you'll notice that our experience is very similar to that on the phone. You'll notice on the right side, it'll show you each floor, what's in alarm, what's in manual. If I click on the floor, I could get my magic bubbles on the left side here, and I could just drill down into that floor. Notice how the magic bubbles opened up on the left side, so that when you're having a tablet or a phone, you could use your fingers to do that. Now we're looking at the floor plan here, and what we're gonna do is let's just drill down to a VAV box. In here, the magic bubbles automatically show everything that's related to this VAV box. So let's edit a schedule. Now in here you can see that this particular VAV box is associated with the normal week schedule. And I could go into the events and I could see what events are there. I could also see all the points that are being controlled by that particular schedule. So when I click on a different VAV box, you'll notice that the magic bubbles are dynamic. If there's an alarm for that VAV box, it'll show a magic bubble for the alarm. If there's a schedule, it'll show the schedule. 
and so on. You could also open up the point graphics for that particular VAB box. And the same experience that you had on your phone is now on your tablet as well. None of this was engineered, by the way. Um, the magic bubbles automatically work based on tags. There wasn't one thing that was done to make that work. Notice with magic bubbles how they're tied into our mini apps in our mobile uh, interface. Notice the top bubble is City Center Air Handler 1 graphic. Automatically, without doing anything whatsoever, when I clicked on the VAV box, it actually found which air handler it goes to. And if I click on that button, it'll actually open up the air handler point graphics so I could look at the floor plan and look at the data of my air handler at the same time, comparing two things. Now let's go into a VAV box. I'm gonna drill into the VAV box and let's go ahead and go to the graphic. Now what you're doing is you're looking at a VAV graphic and Magic Bubbles that works on um, VAVs as well. It works on points. So I could click on any point and I could actually get the Magic Bubbles. For example, I'm looking at the point at priority rate is at 17 right now and this point has a history. Let's jump over to that history of that point. Now I'm looking at the history for that particular damper. Now when you're on a desktop, you have a little bit more real estate to deal with. So let's go ahead and we're looking at City Center VAV 16 over here. Let's go into the historian and look at its histories. When I have the histories on the right here, um, you could see it as if it was on a phone. Let's now take the histories that are on the right here and sling them over to the left. Now in this view, you could see your histories and have a little bit more real estate, but even better, I could use my smart navigation and smart menu over here and I could go to something else and compare. Let's say we wanted to go to the point graphics and see live data. So now I could see live data and my historical data on the same screen. Now let's take a look at alarms on the desktop. You'll notice that on my right side in my smart navigation over here, it says that City Center has three alarms. Let's drill into that. Now let's go ahead and go to the smart menu and go to our alarms. I could see and I could acknowledge all my alarms right on the right side, just like I could on the phone. If you want a little more real estate, I could also sling this over to the left as well. I could acknowledge the alarm. If you like a table view, I could switch to it and I could see more alarms in a table view. Okay, now let's take a look at engineering the job. Remember, we changed the workflow 180 degrees. Everything you saw previously in our demo with magic bubbles and things running on a phone can now work automatically for you. And this is how you do it. So what you do is you just navigate to where you want to go. So let's go to an air handler. And let's go in the smart menu. And now let's go to the graphics builder. And let's hit new graphic. Now we have a wizard that will open up. Let's create our graphic. I'm gonna name the air handler, and I'm just gonna select the points that I want. Now let's go in to edit the graphic. So the wizard that we used to make that, that you just saw, automatically based on the points that I clicked on, tried to guess which objects you wanted to use. Let's go ahead and move those graphic objects around. If it selected the wrong graphical object, I could just click on my variations button, and I could select a different sensor. So now that I arranged my graphic objects, let's go into our menu over here and use our magic button. There's a thing called graphics over here. When I click that button, it'll automatically arrange all my points. Another common thing that system integrators like to use is they like to have an overview box for their points. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the magic buttons and click overview box and create a new overview box. Now that I saved my graphic, remember I'm still in City Center Air Handler 1. So if I go into the graphics app, I can now view the graphic that I just made. Remember, I didn't do anything and these magic bubbles will just work. If I click on the fan, my magic bubbles work. If I click on the history, it goes in there. I did nothing to make that happen. Now that we made our graphic, let's go into the smart menu and we're at City Center Air Handler 1. Let's click the graphics app. Let's now open our graphic that we just made. Notice that when we created our graphic, I didn't have to create any hyperlinks and the magic bubbles just work. So I could use my history. I could look at my histories now. So after you make your air handler and you have your magic bubbles working, all the things we saw earlier on the phone, tablet, and desktop will now work as well without having to create hyperlinks or other things. So now that we just made an air handler graphic, let's make the same type of graphic except for a floor with the same workflow. Navigate to floor one, go to my graphics. Now let's go ahead and import the background image. 
Now with the workflow that we change 180 degrees, all you have to do now is select the VAV box that you want, start drawing the poly. I'm going to click on the next VAV box and I'm going to draw the poly again. Notice when I draw these polys, I didn't have to create any hyperlinks or anything. Now that we drew all the polys, go ahead and go to your magic button tool and I'm going to click right over here and I'm going to do Superman the polys. Notice it moved everything automatically for you. Again, we're trying to save mouse clicks. Now I'm still at floor one, now we're going to go to the graphics app and view our floor plan that we just made. My colors are there, everything's working. If I click on the VAV, my magic bubbles work and you get the same experience that you saw on a phone, tablet and desktop. Just like making air handlers and floor plans, our control logic is all workflow based as well. You want to get context, so navigate to City Center VAV1 and just go into the logic builder, create a new program. So now let's create a VAV Delta T program for every VAV in my database. And let's select the room temperature, set point, and Delta T. Now what you're seeing is the wire sheet that's running in the browser, no Java plugin, right? 100% in the browser. I'm going to drag my set point and my room temperature and let's get the delta T. Now let's search for a block and let's find a subtract block. This program that I just created when I hit the save button now runs on every single VAV in your entire enterprise, whether it's one, 61, or a thousand. No more copying, no more linking. You write one program and it runs everywhere using Haystack tags. With Fin 4.0 and everything you just saw, it now runs everywhere. It runs at the edge, at the global controller, at the server, and in the cloud. Many of our partners, our OEM partners, have created devices that the technology is certified on as well. Now you could have a mobile experience on your phone, tablet, desktop, that lives in all of these devices. With Fin technology and built-in Haystack taggings, our OEMs can take our technology and build on top of it using our open APIs so they could create products that have never been seen before. With Fin 4.0, we've created a complete building automation system that runs anywhere on any device. No more Java plugins needed. We use HTML5 technology that will run on your phone, tablet, and desktop. The technology now utilizes better workflows for engineering to make you do your jobs faster, easier, and better than ever before. J2 Innovations created the FIN technology with built-in Haystack tags and a data model. Our OEMs and partners have taken that technology and have expanded it into a growing community. So as a community, let's work together with this next generation product and let's see what we can do together.